people God has put before you. Praise the Lord. Very important. Whether they look little or great, just celebrate them. You never know what you can receive from them. Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate Pastor Kui Ambrose and his wife. Man of God, we love you. Sister Maria, we love you. Together with me, let me celebrate my husband. Let us celebrate him. Until you get married, shall you know that you need a partner who believes in you, who believes in the minister that you are, not only who knows you as a wife. Pastor Innocent can testify. And you have opportunity to choose. Do not fall for anyone who does not see the end of your ministry. Bavulida. Because you will reach a time and you need someone to uphold you. And they are not there. You understand? You need a man who sees you and tells you, I met you a worshiper. You are the worshiper I know. Praise the Lord. I met you preaching. You are the preacher. And that's what my husband does every time. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Today's word is crazy. I'm also receiving it as we are going on. Let's, we can take our seats. And I'll never be the same again. I'll never return. I've closed the door. I'll walk the path I'll run the race And I will never be the same again I praise to once the mark of the high calling I pressing go to reach my goal. I praise to us the mark of the high calling. I praise, I praise, I praise. In your Bibles, let's open Psalms chapter 119. Thank you, Jesus. Saints, post for us um, Luke 10, 38. I want us to uh, put those, let us allow the projector to have uh, Luke 10, 38, if you have a Bible, open Psalms 119.11. The Bible says, Your word I have hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Praise the name of the Lord. My place is uh, the place of hiding the word in my heart. Praise the Lord. David does not just uh, take the word of God anyhow. He has a place, he hides it. I don't know what you understand by the word hiding. By the time he says hiding, it means he doesn't want anyone to see it. But he wants to keep it for himself. Preserve it so that the enemy or anyone, any situation, no nothing can steal this word from him. Praise the name of the Lord. On Sunday, we were learning about reception. I'm continuing there. Praise the Lord. Because the Spirit of God has been speaking to me about this for some time. And uh, there is a reason why it came. It didn't come to excite us, to be like, 
one Sunday I'm excited I'm going to receive the next day I don't have it no it has come for us to know our place as a church I told you that unto God we are receivers unto men we are givers hello do you remember that unto God we are receivers but unto men we are givers that's why when you step into the house of your father there is a certain way you have to break down you don't have to, to come and stay high as you are you have to come and put it down because unto God we are receivers he's above God is a giver praise the Lord when we look at a transaction God is a giver our place is to receive somebody search for me that scripture that says freely given freely search for it praise the Lord saints stay there don't move from yours saints I told you look Luke 10 38 praise the Lord unto God we are receivers I want you to get it here unto men we are givers you know why you cannot give what you've not received you cannot give what you don't have when we come and fall in the presence of the father the more the, the, the only way I would tell how much you received is by the way you're giving when you fall and you're slain and you wake up and you, there is no mystery there is no revelation you had you didn't receive you just fell you understand that's why God is calling us as a church to a certain way of reception let us first leave the church anyway I want you as a church you as a temple me because this is my word I told you the last time he asked them and said if you've not understood this parable how much more will you receive the, how, how can you say that you understand the others which means this parable is the principal parable. The parable of the sower. It is a standard for a believer. It means if I have not learned. Because even the mere cause of salvation is by receiving. If I don't re receive the power of salvation, I will not be saved. That's why many have confessed him. But have gone back into sin because they have not received it. They have not received it. I, I, I wanted to break down for you what receiving is. Today we are basing on this scripture. I just want, I want your eyes to keep casting on that as I speak. That's Luke chapter 10, verse 38. The word receive is lambano. Okay? And uh, when you look at the breakdown of lambano, it is to take with the hand. Take with the hand. Because if I give you and your hand misses, you've not received. You receive it. Praise the name of the Lord. That's the first meaning. It says, lay a hold, lay a hold of any person or thing in order to use it. Hello? You lay a hold of it. If it's a mystery, you lay a hold of it to use it. I want you to remember to use it, not to keep it. If there is any reason we come in the presence to receive, it's for us to use what God has given unto us. I want us to remember what Pastor Nathan told us. He told us that we have the armor of God. And on that armor, the only weapon we have is the word. Hello? This word has to be used a certain way as God leads you. The only weapon. The others are shields. They protect us. But the only weapon we have is the sword of the word. So Lambano is laying a hold of that thing to use it. God has told us this is a good year for the church 2024. We don't receive it and sleep in our beds and be like, oh God. We get a hold of it to use it. Getting a hold. Getting a hold of it. Praise the name of the Lord. He has told you to pray at a certain... You get a hold of it to use it 
for your good. Hallelujah. It says to take up a thing to be carried. You take it up to be carried. Praise the name of the Lord. I, are you understanding the, 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 the place of reception? I get a hold to carry it. I take it to carry. There is a prince for God is teaching. If you observe, it's not for us to receive and keep it a certain way, just hiding it. If you, if you read the scripture that I first read, he says, your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin. That is the purpose. That is the reason he's receiving the word. That he may not sin. Why are you receiving the word? Why do you come to church anyway? Why are you moved to the presence of God? Is there a purpose? Because if you don't have a purpose, you will never receive. I told you last time about that woman who was bleeding. While the others were just neighboring Jesus, she had a certain purpose. She had a reason as to why she wanted to touch him. That's why she was ready to receive. And she said, even if it is a him, I don't care. Whatever part I can reach, it wasn't even his body that he touched. It was a him of his garment and she received it. She received her healing. What she waited for years became manifest that day because she was ready. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we ready as TBF for what God is releasing? The man of God told us during the prayer dormitory, I will concentrate. He told us that the dimension has changed. A page has been opened unto us. Something new has happened. Are you moving in that thing or you're still in the past? If you're still beholding Meanwhile, before even you start beholding Pastor Innocent as a new person, do you behold yourself as a new person? There is a work God has done in me that I feel I'm new. Not only if I know. I know I'm not the old one. I know. I know. I can see it. I can feel it. I move it. I do it. There is, when you buy a new cloth, you know. They don't need to tell you that you haven't. You know. Because you went out, you got it. You got a hold of it. You put it on. You're using it. You didn't just keep it on. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God has come for us to receive a certain way. A certain way. I told you. If they feed you, they bring food. And they give it to you. They cannot force you to chew it. They cannot. Even when we force you, you can bring it out again because you did not receive it. Something has come for us. We need to open our eyes. All right. Let's go. The Bible says, And Jesus and his disciples were on their way. He came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. For those who don't know where we are, we are, we are at Luke 10, 38. Let's continue. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet. Ah. Listening to what he said. Continue. But, I told you last Sunday, when, when something comes with but, you know a certain weight is being added on. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says, but Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. I, are you seeing something here? Are you seeing something here? Take us back. Take us back. Take us back 39. Again, take us back. Sorry, take us back again. I, I want to show you something. 38. Shalabaka. Take us there. 38, 10. Luke 10. Luke 10. You went to 8. 10. 10, 38. Selebaka. Something has come for us. Something has come for me. Uh huh. I want you to watch. And Jesus and his disciples were on their way. He came to a village where a woman named Martha 
opened her home to him. Uh huh. Who opened her home? Let me ask you. Who opened her home? I want you to watch. Martha opened her home, which means it was Martha's home. Now let's go. Mm -mm. The next verse, 39. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. I want to see how we miss encounters with God. The Bible says, but, and Jesus went to visit with his disciples. Now, I want, to tell, I, want, I, want to, I want to phrase it to you. And the word in flesh went to visit Martha. The word, Jesus in flesh, the word in flesh went to visit Martha. Martha opened, opened her home. Give us 40. Give us 40. Mother opened her home. Ah, shatala bakanaya, brado shatana. But Martha was distracted. Lord, I've come in your presence. Lord, I'm here. And within you, certain things start calling. Omana amlesotia. Your husband. Your boss, that sister annoyed you. Then somebody moves in and be like, that one I will never forgive. I hate that person. You're getting distracted. Yes, you opened your home. But in your home, you're distracted. You sang a song. Instead of concentrating on God, something came up, you got distracted. You're not receiving. Meanwhile, in terms of reception, Martha didn't receive him. It's not enough to make him come. Mm -mm. The reason why he comes, he comes for you to speak so that you may hear. The reason he comes to you is for him to give instruction that you may hear. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. Let's go to Mary. What was Mary doing? Mary, 39. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet. This one. This one said, uh -uh, we have been cooking every day. We've been mopping this house every day. But something has come in this place. Uh -uh. And she said, I'm not going to sit on a chair. I'm going to sit at his feet. I don't know what you want. The Bible says, firstly, the feet represent the gospel. But the feet is where the concentration of the anointing. It's where the concentration of the anointing is. Okay. If they pour water on you, oh, oh, where will it concentrate? On your head? When it's flowing, where will it concentrate? That's why wise people who know God don't look for his hands. Ah, You don't look for his hands. You fall at the feet. Because you know that's where concentration is. Concentration. Mary didn't look for any position. Mm -mm. She sat at the feet of the father. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful because... There is no day God has gotten out of the word. There is no day. There is no day. We've never come here for Wednesday fellowship and God is out of the word. No. A certain man wasn't positioned a certain way. I tell you. The attention you give to the word is the attention the word is going to give to you. You hear me? The attention you're going to give to the word of God. The attention you're going to give in this place is how much it's going to work in your life. Our father told us when you come here, you forget about everything. 
What did he tell us? He told us when you pick up a phone call in the middle of a sermon, there is something wrong. Actually, you're helping yourself to bewitch yourself. Because at that time, you're allowing, you remember the third heart? You're allowing the word of God to come, but you're allowing some other way to grow. So there are two things being corrupted. The word is not pure. It's being corrupted. Because as God is sowing, you're allowing something else to sow. I guess Martha without, Mary would have said, I should go and help my sister. Montaguer. She's the owner of the house. She, but she said at this moment, I ought to give a certain attention. A certain attention. I have to, my God, I have to forget everything and give attention to this word. I want to ask you, I want to ask us as a church, when you come to the presence of the Father, what are you attending to? These are the things that make us fail to prosper in the word of God, but not because the word doesn't come in abundance. I told us we ought to receive in abundance. Not because it has not come in abundance, but because a certain man was attending to, an, was attending to another thing. Destructed. Give me another version. Give me the NKJV. Verse 40. Verse 40. But Martha was cumbered about much serving. Hello? Yeah? Martha was serving. What she was doing was holy, but not at the right time. The word has come, but you're busy. That's why when the word comes, you need to pause everything. Pause. Pause. Martha was cumbered about much serving. Imagine. <laughs> but you know some Christians are like this. The Bible says, and came to him and said, Lord, give me NKJV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Manang, the man of God is at the word. Manang, I'm the only one here. I'm the one. Hey, continue serving. And get annoyed also. Because the word has come. The word has come. The word has come. Praise the name. It has come. It's not any word. It's a word that has to align you. It's the word that, that is creating, that is building you. And you don't give it attention. And you think you're going to bear fruit. I told you until you receive, you cannot bear fruit. Imagine you come to God complaining. Tetu swala. Lord, you did it for minister charity. Why not? You are busy attending to certain things. You know, I, 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 I wonder at some Christians, the word of God has come. You have a situation and you feel it's too big. They are here. God, I know you can heal cancer. But you cannot change my business tomorrow. My landlord is coming. Actually, then your landlord calls at that time. Like, hey! Distracted. Distracted. And after that, you, you come. Jesus. You come and complain to the Lord. Actually, those are the people even who... who who speak the word while crying in a, while pray? But you say, but you say, but you said, you didn't pay attention when I said, but you're coming to tell me that I said. Huh? You want a fruit when you didn't pay attention. You're complaining. Actually, you're just crying. He will not reply. Until you learn how to give all. 
the way you sit, the way you write, the way you, there is a position that even the angels will look at and they'll be like, that one, that one is receiving. Hmm? Let me tell you. The more you receive is the more the word of God is going to work in your life. Simple. The more you receive, the more you open up. Actually, if I had, but I would have shown you an illustration, but I want you to imagine it. I want you to imagine like three vessels. One is a cup. One is a jug. Let's use one as a bucket. Okay, let's add another one. As a big space. Take it for a river. How much is the cup going to receive? I want you to ask you, how much? Okay, we go deeper to the jug. How much is it going to receive? How much will that bucket take? I know it, it is somehow big. Let us not deceive ourselves. What we have received is what we are going to give out. Tetuelimba. What we have received. There is a man who lives as someone and is disturbed and they cannot sleep. Even when they sleep off, they are dreaming that someone. When they wake up, they are seeing it. When they start to clean, they are seeing it. They are not distracted because they are mopping their house. They are still focused. Those are the people God is going to use this year. Montegera. People who do the second hearing. One weakness we have as a church is living. Even as you're moving. You cannot even tarry call with your neighbor for more 20 minutes in the word you listen to. The next thing, did you buy Richard party? Did you see the clothes? Did you see the... Da, 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 before you know, ah! Until next what? Sand. You will not allow that word to grow. What is attention? What is attending to the word of God? You're giving it the whole of yourself. The whole body, soul, and mind. It means if your body is trying to do something that you don't want, you put it back together. What did we used to do when we were reading? Some people would put their feet in what? But just to read. Read many theories. But you cannot go ayonder with the word of God. How do you think you're going to receive? There are many, many, many mighty men in this place. Many mighty women. Reception. Attending to the word. Praise the name of the Lord. Okay. Let's leave Martha. I want us to go to. Let's go to Mark. Mark chapter 4. I want to show you something and we, we close. Today, I want to be disciplined. Tell yourself I cannot be distracted. I refuse to be distracted. I refuse. I told you that sower can be any situation. Can be that simple lady you see. Can be your woman of God. Your man of God. Can be your father. Can be your husband. Can even be your child. Do you know sometimes our children speak? You're stepping out and your child says something and then you'll be like, ah. That's, come on, come on, come on. Before you do anything, think about it. All right. Take me to the. To where I was tempted. I think it's still in the same chapter. Let me find it, but I think it's in the same chapter. Oh, sorry. It's Matthew. Matthew 4, not Mark. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start from one. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by. Who was taken up? Who is Jesus? Except the Son, who is he? In the beginning was, the Word was, and the Word was. So who is being tested here? I told you, even the word had to receive himself to come. God had to receive from God to come. And that when God comes, still in flesh, he has to be tested. Let's go. What had he done? He had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Afterward, he was hungry. Tell yourself he was hungry. Tell yourself he was hungry. But what was he hungry for? Hello? Jesus was hungry. What was he hungry for? You know, you can have a hunger, eh? but we shall judge what your hunger is for when you're tested. Wanji? Ojakujano, Lord, I'm hungry. Okay. It's okay. Jesus was. And according to many of us, we know he was hungry physically because the man of God had finished fasting. It was time to break. But let's see how hungry he was. Let's continue. Now, tell your neighbor, now. The Bible says, now faith is. Now faith is. Now. Now. Tell your neighbor, if you lived in the past and you faced yesterday and now you can't faith. Don't talk to us. Now, I know you fasted 40 days and you went over every temptation. Now, the tempter. I know you tarried, you didn't sleep in the night during the school of ministry. The prayer dormitory. Now, tell your neighbor now. Why are you telling your neighbor? Can you tell yourself now? Now, the tempter came to him. What did I tell you about the third phase of the, the second phase? We are tested on the account of the word. Hello? Hey, we are tested on the account of the what? The word. Jesus is the word. This man has drawled with God for 40 days and 40 nights, not eating anything. That word is pure. Remember that man of God, at that time, he will not come at that time. He waits for you to finish. He be like, aha, angel Muluma, let me go. Let me set it on the account. At that time, you, God has told you you're going to build mansions. You expect the next day to receive a billion A. Telling you I'm going to give you billions. The next thing you know. Now the tempter came in. He said, if you are the son of God, command these stones to turn into bread or to become bread. Who wouldn't want bread at that time? Tell your neighbor, it's your focus. It will come. It will come. You also know it's a wrong opportunity. You tell yourself, ah, ah, but eh, I don't have money. They will understand. Are you sure? Are you sure? God told you to tell a little longer, but God, my mother has called me. Now the tempter came to him and said, if you are the, the devil, if you are the son of who? Of God. I can take it. If you are the word. <laughs> Imagine the word failing to create and yet in the beginning, it created. In the beginning, you told me the earth was without nothing. And then God said, now I'm just telling you to turn, turn stones into bread. Can't you do it? Let me tell you, Christian, let me prove to this devil who my God is. I want to show him. You show him and you fail. You're a worshiper. God has told you, do not release the song. I know it is deep. Ah, ah. The world has to know. The world has to know. That's why. Hey, you will fail. Let's continue. 
You think the devil is joking with us. He's not. But he answered. That's why the word is not only logos. It has to be the Rama word. If you dwell on only the Bible, the devil comes and be like, let me go and open some self. What? what does it say? You're going to die. You're going to die. That's why you need to know the art of reception. The word that conquers the enemies, the word that you have received in your spirit. That is the word that reigns over the enemy. TBA, where are numbers? You even become frustrated and get annoyed with anyone and be like, ah, um, come on, take what? Eh? 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 What did you receive in your spirit? What did you see? Because I know about Abraham, a man of faith. God told him, just go. Go. Did he ask for direction? He went. Let's continue. He says, let me read it. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. This man is setting a standard for us here. He's setting a standard for us here. This shows how much reception he received from heaven. If he said, Father, send me, and then he came here and he got, he got us disappointed here, we would have ended our story here. Let's continue. Then the devil took him. Tell your neighbor, he took him higher. Yeah? yeah? He said, bread, 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 bread cannot put you down. Bread. Let me take you up. Into the holy, Pastor Smart, a holy city. Yeah? He didn't took, take him to where the Nimrods were. Mm-mm. He took him to a holy city. Nagamba, Seba Fuga. This is yours. If you only do what? He set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Take us up. Yeah? Ah, brother, I don't worry. Now you're going to reign over bread. Praise the Lord. You'll be supplying it in the holy city. Eh? Take us, take us, take us, take us. Take us the next one. And say to him, if you are... Uh, ah, we are statement. That statement annoys me. I feel like... If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. Wanji, in dimensions, the man of God tells us that there are places where angels have to come. Now you tell yourself, I think now I'm in the realm of that dimension. Where angels minister unto me. Throw yourself down. You will die. You will die. Yeah? He is tested on the account of the word. He is tested on the account of what God has been. I told you the devil is more attentive. As, as prophecies are being written in 37 schools, he can even bring 80. Yet you have to select 37 first. I want us to be for, I want us to know. We need to know how to save. He tells him, he shall, ah, the devil knows scriptures. He shall give his angels charge over you and in their hands shall they bear you up lest you dash yourself, your foot against a stone. Who doesn't want that, that, that word? That's when Christians be like, I receive. I receive it. I receive it. Hello? Let's see what Jesus says. The devil knows that Christians know bad. Which man? So nowadays the devil doesn't test with bad. He tests with good. Because not every good thing is good. So even if that seed is looking good, be sure you are a fertile ground. You will bear anything that goes in. You will bear bad seed thinking it's good and you produce fruit. Don't forget fruit is going to come. What does it say? Jesus said to him, it's written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God.
How many times have we told God, now speak, it's time? Have you asked him, what do you want? Hmm? When you see Betty Hope thriving higher, celebrate her. Don't get envy. Do not be envious. Times and seasons belong to allow them go. Let me tell you something more interesting. You even find that that wicked man next to you is the one eating every day. So well, and it happens. And you are a Christian, they're asking you, where is your God? Do not tempt the Lord your God. Don't tell him, Kale, go, let me not go to church so that I see whether you can pick me up from... You will stay there. Sekulimba. The most times when you feel fallen, come here. David said, I would rather fall in the presence of my God. I have sinned. I have done wrong. If you ask me whether you give me to man or to yourself, I will choose yourself. Kuve me go. Do whatever you want, but God, I am here at your feet. I'm not leaving because I know here there is life. You got me? Even when you feel the most fallen, come here. They have disciplined you, you feel the worst. The presence is what can only sort you. Because the moment you get out, deception is going to set in. I don't know why I'm saying these things, but it looks like they are coming ahead of us. It's how you focus. Jango kaba maziga that even your eyes are red, but stay here, nodding your head. Fall down and nobody can touch you, but stay in the presence. In the presence of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Can we continue? This is the last one. Tell your neighbor, even in the, in the other realm of the enemy, they go from glory to? He will look for another one. The devil is very cunning. Do not lie yourself. That's why we ought to keep watch. We ought to stand our God. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, the devil took him up on the exceedingly ah exceedingly high mountain and showed him oh, the other time it was just a holy city now he's showing him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory meanwhile God reigns God reigns but also the devil reigns in its places Let me do not deceive yourself that it's only God who reigns. Let me tell you, even the devil reigns. Be careful when you're reigning, what you're reigning for. Which kingdom are you representing? Because we've seen them start good, but again they went into deception. And they started reigning for the enemy, pretending as though they are for God, but not. God, I want to know you. Only you. And then something comes in. These things come. And before you know you're reigning. But on behalf of the enemy. Who gave you authority? I told you as many as received him. He gave them the power to become. Even this one. When you receive him on the other hand. He will give you authority. And you will reign on his behalf. Let's continue. And he said to him all these things. I will give to you. I'll give you if you fall down and worship me. Tell your friend the last place of your testation will always be your worship. That time when you start worshiping your job, know you've started falling. When you start worshiping your marriage, you're dying. When you're worshiping your parents, you're killing yourself. Uh 
Kagenda kuwa triple six because amanyoli mulokole you have the understanding a certain way. Nada. Nada. You think you can be most you can you be convinced to take triple six now? Mm -mm. He just needs to bring a handsome guy. He rides you around. And before you know you start going. Sister Marion says why is she coming for the for the practices? No, you know today was Valentine. So something happened. Come on, he will come the good way. Even the brother will choose some Sundays, like two Sundays in, in a month, and says, I'm worshiping with you. I'm with you, woman of God. I'm with you. But he only came to steal your worship away from God, to steal your love away from God. To steal your loyalty. Because loyalty has to only be to one king. One master, one Lord. Tell your neighbor reception. We shall know what you received when you're tested. We shall know. Because I, I wanted this to be the last example because this is the spring. We can talk, talk about Paul, but we cannot miss this one. Because it's the standard. Your worship. When you start singing, Lord, I will bow to you. And you're seeing your mansions. You're seeing how he healed the sick, but you glorify. Yeah? Means such a the healer. If you don't say the healer, you'll not be healed. Say it. You're starting another worship. Yeah? Because if they don't call you an apostle, you will not minister. Whom are you worshipping? When woman of God, it's only an individual who knows that his or her worship has been taken away. I cannot know Joyce when your worship is taken away. Because again in church, because I'm used to seeing a certain way you come and kneel down and roll, I'll be like, whoa, shake her She's deep. The woman of God is busy worshipping another thing. And let me, when you worship, power comes. You're empowered. Before you know she's empowered to go out to do another business. Let's, you people, let's watch. We are in the last days. When I see deep fathers who started before us falling, I be like, Mokama, Onyabanga. I would rather be a doorkeeper. Is that what David says? He was a king. But says, I would rather be a doorkeeper. A watch guard. In your temple. Other than being anything that can put me out. In your, I would rather. Daisy. Your worship rather stays with God. Than any position or anything. If it ever comes, kill it. If it takes you to go and clean the roads for you to remember why, where God picked you from, whom you worship, do it. Because you're killing a certain man. Eh? Mumpulira. The dead brother Dickens, the Lord will lift you so high that when you just sound a certain voice, men fall. If you see anything setting in, break it. If it needs for you to oppose any pulpit business, for you to set yourself right with God, do it. Your worship is important more than anything. That's why he names him David, a man after my own heart. Because this man was busy in the woods receiving of the word. Your word have I hid. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. This guy kept on reciting the word of God. That even when temptation came, he fell. But still he knew where to fall. He knew where to fall. If Saul knew where to fall, he wouldn't be where he was. Because still the Lord loved him. He was chosen by men, but if he knew where to fall, he didn't know. He didn't have a relationship. That's why a man of God told us that my ministry is based on the relationship I have with God. If I lose my relationship with God, I've lost it.
Be careful what you receive. Be careful what you pay attention to. Nabagambi, when the word of God comes and you're catching offense, you're in error. Go and quarrel with yourself. Align yourself. Come back. When an instruction is given to you and you're grumbling, there is a problem. Because again, it's the voice of God. Sister Mario, the day you feel that there are many praise sessions you have, many worship sessions, something has started. Kill it. Kill it before. Let me tell you, it's wise. But prevention is better than cure. Prevention. You know, something, woman of God, when I was here on Sunday, something, I want to emphasize it again. The last ground, take us there. I don't know if you remember the scripture. The last ground. The last ground. Use Matthew, Matthew 13. Let's go to Matthew 13. Look for it. The last ground, the fertile ground. When he was explaining what it meant. I want us to watch. Go down. I want it to where he told them 30 fold, 60 and 100. Zem pulida. Yogi Randi one no. We're about to close service. Yogi Randzem Pulida. Yogi Nichi Gambocho. Saints, 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 let's run. Somebody there. Help her. Let's read it from our phones. Or Bibles. Shalabade City Lebado Shat. You get an example, Ida. Ah, all right. Uh, continue. That's when he tried, started translating to explain to them what the vision was, what the parable was. I mean, Matthew thirteen. Continue. Just continue. Keep on pressing the next, the next verse. You'll find because. Mark for eight. Mark for eight. Why he said Okay, for eight. Run there. Mark for eight. Let's try that. Then as she's getting that, help me get the one in Matthew. It says something. I want us to share that also. Also look for the one in Matthew. Mm, Matthew. Yeah, twenty three. Okay, let's start with Mark. Then in Matthew it is thirteen twenty three. Okay. Ah, but the other, f but the other seed fell on the ground and yielded the crop that sprang up, increased and produced some thirty fold, some sixty, some a hundred. And uh, woman of God, I ask myself, why some thirty, why sixty, why a hundred? And the Spirit of God told me, because the thirty fold might have stopped cultivating at a certain time. Uh, observe the crops. Don't, don't, don't even question. You understand? When they start yielding, it doesn't mean you should stop. You understand? This one, yes, I was, it entered, it sinked, it just started growing. This one went back. When they say anything, they be like, I should take out this. They are watching. The one of the hundredfold was watching a certain way. Anger sets in, be like, I have to deal with this one. This one is not right. Yeah? When this, another thing he says, it's not because that one is not falling. No. It's because this one is watching. He's watching. Watch your field. Watch your heart. Watch your heart. Because again, our Father wants us to the hundredfold. That is the place of perfection. Don't end here. Cultivate, you are you're going to work. Let me tell you, I remember woman of God remember, even Brother Smart, I think you remember, Pastor Smart. There are people who used to work at school just speaking in tongues, and it was his brother. 
success. That guy would, he would be in a biology lesson. And he'd be, the guy would be, the guy would be eating, I think would, this guy, I looked at this man and I, but what inspires you to speak in tongues all the time? This man is guarding his heart. Now, some of you, you want to have some good time. You go swimming and you stop speaking in tongues. You, you, you stop. You first, God first pause. It is personal time. As you're having personal administration, you'll be having devil administration. Spy administration. They'll be helping you. They'll be like, eh, hey, but now what? Look at that sister. How is she? Yes, you're deep, but you, you, you pass God for personal. Never at a time should we stop receiving the word. Let me tell you, I've seen God. I've seen God. I've seen God. Even in the worst situations, God is speaking. Have you ever realized? Okay, you can go to a bar, Pastor Smart. And people are seeing naked people, but you're seeing people for the gospel. Yes, you're, you're all in the same setting, but what you're seeing is different. This man is wired a certain way. The other one is another way. Are, are you trying to get what I'm saying? We can be passing a secular song because we cannot stop the world from doing what they do. And someone hears, I don't know them, eh? but you hear what you hear. The other one, is hearing another thing where someone is saying something has to be about our worship in Uganda. Something must change this music. What do you see in every situation? Do you hear? Because the man of God says when you hear, you see. When you see, you hear. My duty today is done. Let's go to 1323. Matthew, let me end with that. You've understood why some had 30, 60, and 100? Don't be comfortable with where you are. Do not. If you are 30, push yourself to 60. After 60, push yourself to 100 because it's possible. Don't be comfortable. Five or six fold. Faith. Uh-uh. 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 Because it was Jesus, six fold. Was he? Isn't he your basic person you imitate? But he who received seed on the good ground is he who hears the word, huh? understands it, who indeed bears fruit huh? and produces, now this one gives it the right format, some a hundred. This one, woman of God, starts with some a hundred. There is no teacher who wants the son to be the, the student to be 30. 30 level. Let me see those ones. 30 level. Come on. Walk to the church. A man intercessor, but I'm at 30. You're lying. You can thrive to 100. Strive to be your best. It only comes down to the way you receive. The way you attend to the word. Let me tell you, we all get tired. But when you come in the presence of the Father, scare yourself. Okay, even if you didn't see an angel, be like, oh, Jesus, an angel of worship is here. Sometimes, woman, sometimes we do that and it happens. Like today, I entered church and I saw everyone, I was like, I'm coming to service. He said, no. And I told myself, I see God. I see God. And before you know, you see God. When your legs are feeling how you'll be like, my God, fire is on. That's how we do it. You want to know how, how women and men of God practice. They can go to an atmosphere and there is nothing. They'll be like, hmm. The woman, they'll be like, I can't be here and God is not here. God is here. God is here. Oscar, you're in Manata camp. Nothing has ever, you've never healed. You'll be like, I feel the healing anointing. Cancer today. Let me... Before cancer thinks of coming, it is sorted. You come for worship service here. You're leading worship. People, people model like they want to look at you like they don't. 
You'll be like, today you're finished. You look at me. You look at me. You can only bow to the Father. That's how we do it. And that's why God is calling this church. At the ladders we meet ushers. Ah, secretary, bakonda, bakaya. How can they bypass you and not feel good? How can they bypass you and not want to come back again? Then it's, we are practicing. By the time we go to the church, that has thousands of women of God. Ah, Benson alone will be enough for service. The rest of us will be somewhere. Let me tell you, time has come for, the, for God to take over the church because men are receptive. He told us, our father told us, that spirits are not permitted in the world. They are not, but they come upon the invitation of the person in the world. You understand? Somebody can put a God here and all of you fail to pass here. How be that they make trees gods that their children and children's children fear that there is a God there. So a certain man opened his heart and was there is a God there. There is a God there. And a certain judge came. But I don't want to talk about a judge. I'm talking about God Almighty. Then you can inhabit God in yourself until your shoes start to minister. Until you, what does he say about Paul? He so much gave himself unto God that his shadow. Peter. It was Peter. His shadows were healing. You don't need us someone. We need something. I don't know how you feel, but I'm crazy this year. I told people in morning glory, we need to even tarry in the evening because I feel like even if we are from church on at 10, we shall still pray. Because woman, as we are still praying, God is calling us again to pray. He will tell you pray at 10, but wake up again at 12 and pray. You're still complaining about 12, it's only 3. Because this is how men invite God. You want God to inhabit this, this house? Until the landlord says, let me speak it so that you shouldn't pay. Sit God here. Ali no kulabak. Let let the thing of the unknown God go away. Muntagira. The unknown God should go away. God should come and sit here. I want them to say that when Jolly sits on this chair, I cannot. If I'm sitting there, something is happening to me. People should start being careful about anything about you. They touch your head, they be like, Mama. Let's worship God. Stand up and speak to God. Allow me call our pastor to close. Allow me call our pastor to close.